Well, first of all, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, being the only member from Arizona on this committee, I find many of the comments, rationale, justifications against this citation distasteful and utterly disdainful to the citizens of this country and more particularly those of Arizona, and particularly also those in northern Mexico who will be living with the consequences of these egregious DOJ actions from here forward. If it was my way, I hope that we would have had a vote on each of the facts and findings so that each one of us would have had to put down what we actually, instead of bantering, political bantering, would have actually had to vote on what we find as fact and figure like we see within a judicial system. Finding Attorney General Eric Holder, Jr. in contempt of Congress is long overdue, but welcome news for the American people and especially for Arizonans. As I explained in my recent statement, Mr. Holder has shown his contempt for our constitutional rights our border, Arizonans, and all Americans. We should now hold him in contempt of Congress. 115 members of Congress agree that Americans lack confidence in Mr. Holder and his department. The people of Arizona, California, New Mexico, and Texas, who deal with unsecured borders and violent Mexican cartels on a regular basis, now must now also live in fear of these firearms. These citizens deserve for, deserve for contempt charges to begin because it is with contempt for their safety that this operation was carried out. What is perhaps most discouraging is that people whose job it is to protect and promote justice failed the American people so badly. We are dealing with the Department of Justice. The lawyers who worked there took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yet from sending Congress a false letter to continued stonewalling, these lawyers have brought a great shame to their profession. I am convinced that holding the Attorney General in contempt is the only way to send a strong message to this administration and future ones that no one is above the law, including the nation's top law enforcement officer. I continue to believe that Attorney General Eric Holder brought this upon himself by refusing to cooperate with Congress, and I believe fully that contempt charges are the appropriate way to go forward. I support Chairman Issa and applaud his resolve in moving this process forward. We all deserve better. I, I yield back the balance of my time. 